hello and welcome once again hope you have already watched my video on laplace transformations where i have discussed about the basics of laplace transformations some elementary functions the formulas for laplace transformations now today in this video i shall cover the properties of laplace transformations so let's start so today's topic is properties of laplace transformations so here i shall discuss i shall discuss about three properties first one is the linearity property the linearity property is uh, very elementary and suppose uh, if a b and c uh, be any constant and uh, say f g and uh, h any functions of t uh, then we can write like laplace transformation of uh, a times ft plus a b times uh, gt minus c times uh, ht will simply produce laplace transformation we can take this a out of this function uh, and just write like this Laplace transformation of ft plus b times Laplace transformation of gt minus c times Laplace transformation of ht that's it so very basic and uh, we can use this so it can be minus also it can be plus no matter so you understand then uh, there is another important property which is called the shifting property first shifting property this is the shifting property which says suppose uh, we have the laplace transformation for ft so if laplace transformation of ft is like this uh, then we can write laplace transformation of e to the power a t times f t is laplace transformation of s minus a and uh, i think we need to prove this so let's try to prove this and uh, we know the formula for Laplace transformation so here, L of ft we know this 0 to s sorry 0 to infinity to the power minus st ft dt so now we have uh, e to the power at times ft so Laplace transformation of e to the power at ft would be simply 0 to infinity integration e to the power minus st e to the power at ft dt this is the thing now you can see we can write like e to the power minus of s minus a t ft dt if we assume uh, s minus a as a constant say as a new parameter say to the power minus et ft where i have assumed p is equal to s minus a 
so this is basically uh, you can write as p and which can be further written as a plus transformation of s minus a so hope you have understood because this function this integration can be written like this a plus transformation of p because p is the new parameter again p is nothing but s minus a so hope you have understood this feature this property like shifting property so uh, we can again have some uh, elementary functions involving shifting properties so let's have a look so first is with uh, laplace transformation of say e to the power a t which is 1 by s minus a remember that the plus transformation of 1 was 1 by s <coughs> now second uh, we can write uh, to the power a t to the power n i hope you have already watched my previous video where i have shown all the formulas like this one and this one also this one also i have shown so if you haven't seen this video i request you to see this video watch this video then you can understand more easily i guess i shall try to add the video link in the description section you can have a look here again i am taking the help of this formula which is giving like this since this since this since this and like fourth formula let's try with cos function cos of btc so it will be like this s minus a remember the laplace transformation for uh, cos bt was like this now but hyperbolic function Six is cos hyperbolic. <coughs> Excuse me. is plus transformation of cos of hyperbolic uh, pt is nothing but s square minus p square so these are the thing <coughs> and remember that in every case in each of the cases we have s is is greater than uh, a 
or somewhere I have used A. Yeah. So this is the thing. I hope you have understood. Now uh, let's try some <coughs> problem and try to find the Laplace transformation of a function. Say we have one function sine 2t times sine 3t and we have to find the Laplace transformation of this function. Now we can write like sine 2t times sine 3t <coughs> can be written like this cos of t minus cos of 5t because this is from trigonometry I hope you know these things so now the shifting property uh, uh, sorry that linearity property will come into play and we can easily write like this so we can write like this so you see half cos t minus cos 5t now we shall use the linearity property so half will come out this of this uh, Laplace transformation so it will be just simply cos t and half minus half Laplace transformation of cos 5t so this is the thing and from the uh, Laplace transformation of cos function because you know Laplace transformation of say cos alpha t is equal to s divided by s square plus alpha square so I shall use that formula and uh, write so half s and alpha or a whatever you say is 1 for this function so I just write s square plus 1 and for this uh, a or alpha whatever is 5 so I shall write s divided by a square plus 5 square you can write 1 square for determine so this is basically mm, half s square plus 1 minus s a square plus 25 you can simplify this and on simplification you can get this result 12 s so this is the Laplace transformation of this function I have used the linearity property here to solve this problem so hope you have understood now another trigonometric function is there uh, which is cos square 2t find the Laplace transformation of cos square 2t and uh, again using the knowledge of trigonometry I can simply write this as hope you know these things this is basic trigonometric problems and uh, you know this I guess so now so Laplace transformation of cos square 2t will produce I, or I am using uh, the linearity property of Laplace transformation here also so just L of 1 plus uh, I hope you have understood this step jump here without any problem so and Laplace transformation of 1 you remember it was just 1 by s so I have just writing uh, 1 by s and just um, here for this it will be s is equal to s and uh, s square plus 4 square so this is the Laplace transformation for cos square 2t so you can write like this 1 by s plus s 
divided by a square plus 16. So, this is the result for the Laplace transformation of cos square 2t. And uh, if you have sine function, uh, then what you can do? So, let us find one problem with sine. So, uh, yeah. So, another problem I have found where I have to determine the Laplace transformation for sine cube. Uh, let me check the problem sine cube 2t. This is the problem. So, we have to find again uh, using the knowledge of trigonometry, I can simply write like sine 60. You remember the thing. So, 3 of sine 2t minus 4 sine cube 2t. So, now sine cube 2t will be uh, written as 3 by 4 sin 2t minus 1 by 4 sin 60. So, if I write this, hence um, Laplace transformation of sin cube 2t will be 3 by 4 Laplace transformation of sin 2t minus 1 by 4 Laplace transformation of sin 60. And uh, you remember the Laplace transformation for sine function, like Laplace transformation of sine 80 was a divided by a square plus a square. So, now Laplace transformation of sine 80 was a divided by a square by uh, plus a square. So, hence here we can write uh, just I write here so 3 by 4 the plus transformation of sin 2t will give you 2 times uh, sorry divided by a square plus 2 square and this will give you minus 1 by 4 6 uh, a square plus 6 square so now coming here <coughs> it will give you uh, 3 by 4 mm, if I do simplification then it will be 48 divided by a square by plus 4 a square plus 36 so this is the result hope you have understood and uh, if you have understood please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, Please let me know how you have liked this video and please share with your friends. Thanks a lot.